Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Canary and Dev channels with the build number 26080. Zero. Finally, we got a new build for both the Canary and Dev channels for version 24H2 after a few weeks of no builds. So in this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the Dev and Canary channels. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is providing ISOs for this build, so on the official Microsoft website, you can go and select the edition for example build 26080 click on confirm then you're gonna have to select the product language for example English United States and after you click on confirm the ISO will be offered to you there are two important notes from Microsoft the first one is if you're experiencing an issue with settings crashing or not loading the Windows update settings page to download and install this build you may have to reboot to correct this issue and also insiders on this build and higher who have dev drives should no longer see their dev drives breaking when rolling back as long as you roll back to build 26080 6063 and higher, insiders in the dev channel will need to wait for another build to get released to ensure rollback happens to build that has this issue fixed. And of course, a short reminder, the window between the Canary and dev channels is still opened. So if you go into the settings app and then go to Windows Update and then go to Windows Insider Program, you're going to notice that you can right now switch between the dev and the Canary channels. So if you want to do that, now is the time. We don't know for sure for how long. In this build, Microsoft is releasing some updates to Microsoft Teams in Windows 11 and basically there is now a new experience a new unified Microsoft Teams experience in Windows and some of the new features and changes are for example you can now easily switch between personal and work accounts when joining a meeting you can select the account you want to use and you can also join a meeting without having to sign in and also new notifications I think that is pretty nice of course more info about this will be in the article below from the official Microsoft website and you can check out an in-depth overview of this I'm not gonna go in depth because I don't personally use Microsoft Teams we also have a lot of improvements to Copilot in Windows that are now rolling out to insiders in the Dev and Canary channels. For example, we have more built-in capabilities via Copilot in Windows, and these things are slowly rolling out, but you're gonna have the full list of new capabilities that you can try out with Copilot in the article below. For example, you can type in empty recycle bin and then press enter, and Copilot should do that process for you. In my case, it's giving me info on how to empty the recycle bin, so I'm not really sure if that's how it's supposed to work or if it's supposed to automatically clean your recycle bin, but the thing is sure that these features are slowly rolling out and as I've said you can check out the full capabilities in the article below if you're interested. We also have a new Power Automate via Copilot in Windows which is introduced in this build and Microsoft is also rolling out an update that has the ability to switch between the existing docked behavior that attaches Copilot to the right side of the desktop and a new mode where it acts like a normal application window which you can resize and move around your screen. Regarding taskbar and system tray, Microsoft is adding the live captions option inside the quick set settings section and you can now turn on live captions more quickly by using this new quick setting. Also Microsoft updated the design of the progress bar under app icons to help make it easier to see. This will appear on the taskbar as well as the start menu and as you can see it right here I'm downloading something with Google Chrome and this is the new progress bar and as far as I know it should change colors depending on the colors that you have set in your operating system. So for example I'm gonna change this as you can see it also changes the color and I think that is pretty nice and um, of course it's a pretty cool addition by Microsoft because yes, I think the progress bars were pretty hard to see and follow in Windows 11. Inside the File Explorer, when extracting files, if there is a file name conflict, you can choose to apply your selected action, skip replace for all conflicts. Inside Windows Update, Microsoft removed the What's New link in Windows Update history for insiders. It will only show now for retail released versions of Windows. Also, Microsoft added the ability to rename your printer directly from settings, Bluetooth and devices, and then printers and scanners, selecting you your printer and then go to additional printer settings and you have rename your printer and this new section will open up and you can easily rename your printer directly from Windows. We also have a new hearing aids page added to the accessibility section of settings but in this case as you can see your PC doesn't support Bluetooth LE audio hearing devices but you have here related settings and more options that you can use whenever you're using such a device. And we also have a new first sign-in animation inside OOB. You're gonna have a screenshot from Phantom Motion 3 who provided a screenshot on Twitter and I think this is looking pretty cool. We're also getting a new paint app update and basically this will allow you to change the brush size using this new slider from the left side and I think that is pretty interesting. So for example as you can see I'm drawing something I can use this slider to resize my brush and also I get a preview on the center of the app of how big that will be. And Microsoft is also adding a new background option to the layers 
panel. With this option, you can set the background color for the canvas, and I think this is pretty cool. And they are also adding a new way to copy with copy visible layers. This enables you to copy all visible content across layers to use this option. Select a near area using the selection tool and invoke the context menu or control shift plus C on your keyboard. We also have a lot of fixes in this build. I'm not going to mention all of them, but I'm going to try to mention those who are pretty important. So for example, general fixes, Microsoft fix an issue for narrator not working when setting up a device or in advanced startup. Related to Copilot, Microsoft fix an issue where if you turn the Copilot icon off and back on and settings never showed it on your taskbar again. Related to taskbar and system tray, they fixed the memory leak. Related to showing the tooltip for the date and time the taskbar when you had enabled additional clocks. We have a lot of fixes for the file explorer. So for example, they fixed the timing issue where when you start a search from home and file explorer, it might unexpectedly show no results the first time you tried. They also fixed an issue caused the details view in file explorer to be unexpectedly cramped in recent builds when using compact mode. And of course, there are also additional fixes related to file explorer, but those will be mentioned in the article below. Related to task manager, fix an issue which could lead to your GPU showing as minus one in task manager, fix an issue where task manager might unexpectedly show no GPU percentage used when that was not the case. They also fix an issue impacting task manager reliability. Related to audio, they fix an issue causing HDMI connected devices to not have audio in the last few builds. There are also a lot of input fixes that you can check out in the article below. Related to settings, they fix an issue where a display connection section was incorrectly displaying under settings, system, display, and then graphics that when clicked would crash settings. And they also fix an issue where a brightness slider might not show in settings, system, display, and recent builds, even though a brightness slider was available for you to use in quick settings. And there are also a few other fixes, but as I've said, you can check out the full list of fixes in the article below if you're interested. And of course, there you're also going to have known issues in this build because there are a few known issues in this build. So this is pretty much this new build for the Canary and Dev channels. I think this is a pretty interesting build that focuses a lot on Copilot and Microsoft Teams, but we also have small improvements that I think could be pretty useful for a lot of users. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.